that we've got our four wheel drive car in the snow. I think now is the prime opportunity for some heated steering wheel action. So what does everyone think about the Kia Sorento we've had? The interior is very nice. The suspension is excellent. The suspension is excellent. We have a road tester in our midst. So much space in this car. Yes. Yeah, big enough. Mm. Get changed in when you when it was cold. Okay, boys, out. Bye, Maxi. Have a good day. My partner James and I and our four boys, aged from five to 11, have been living with this Kia Sorento in GT line spec for three months now. But how has this fared as a seven seater, a deliverer to school, to work, to the shops and to the rugby club? As a family of six, the only thing we really care about when it comes to cars is interior space and seating. How many rows of seats has it got? We want three rows and seven seats. And how much boot space has it got with the third row up and down and the second row up and down? With the third row up, we've got room for Wellington boots and roller skates, which is really all the essentials. And with the second row of seats down, there's room for all that and Milo. Hi. The first row of seats could not be easier to collapse. A simple click of the button. That is the way a mother packs a car. Our Kia Sorento is fitted out with a 2.2 litre diesel engine mated to an 8-speed automatic gearbox. It's got flappy paddles on the steering wheel, which most people laugh at because they think that means it's trying to be all sporty. But actually, if you're trying to overtake something and you need an extra burst of power, I found it comes in quite handy to blip it down a gear or two. The engine develops 197 horsepower, which is all right, but this car weighs two tonnes. And when you've got kids and kit on board, it's quite a heavy unit to punt around. The figure that's of more interest is the 440 newton metres of torque, and torque is all about shoving it somewhere, and this leads quite a lot of shoving. The steering is not pin sharp, but it's got four wheel drive. You're never gonna get that sort of feedback. It's absolutely fine for a family vehicle. And the suspension, as the kids have said, it's somewhere between firm and wallowing. It's just got that nice comforting feel. You can go for a long journey in this car and come out feeling refreshed at the other end. Kia quotes a combined figure of 46.3 miles per gallon for the Kia Sorento. We've been getting 33 to 35 miles per gallon, which isn't too bad for something that's this size and this weight. The other great thing, of course, is the fuel tank capacity for this big car, which is 71 litres. So thank goodness we aren't filling up every three days. There is one feature of the Kia Sorento that we're really not so keen on, and that is what happens to it on a hill. Under normal conditions, when you come to a stop and apply the foot brake, the engine will cut out from stop start. It's not doing it at the moment because it's too cold outside. What will then happen is that unless you remember to press the auto hold button, when the engine starts again and you go to move off, you will momentarily roll back before first gear and enough acceleration is engaged to move you forward. It's annoying that you have to remember to press that auto hold button on or switch off the automatic stop start so the engine just keeps running while you're at a standstill. It should all be automatic, we feel. We've got our Kia Sorento in GT line spec, which comes at the top of the tree and gives you everything you need incorporated into that price point with no other extras. So we've got heated steering wheel, joy of joys, heated seats. We've got Apple CarPlay on this if you put your USB connector in here. There's sat nav as standard on here, but if you've got your Apple CarPlay going, you'll probably use that instead. Steering wheel controls for all your normal functions, including cruise control. There's a reversing camera on here. Even in base spec, you'll get a really decent amount of storage. I've got my gloves tucked in here, cup holders, a deep one here and under the armrest, an even deeper one with an optional little tray coming out there. But you know, my very favorite bit, especially if I've got one of the boys sitting in the front, is a sneaky little button on the electric seats here, which will move the seat back frontwards from forwards. And even if your brother's sitting in the back and you're trying to annoy him, your mother can move the seat out of the way, which is just genius. 
For the past few years, sales of SUVs have soared globally. Everyone seems to want a combination of these boxy looks, practicality and raised ride height. That, however, is starting to change as people realise that you can get just as much practicality but better handling from an estate. The exception to that rule is for families like ours, where we have six people we need to cart around. For us, a 7-seat SUV is still the only good choice on the market. For the best combination of practicality, a few creature comforts and even a touch of luxury at the right price, you cannot say fairer than the Kia Sorento. We are going to miss it when it's gone. <laughs>